Okay, now, uh, this was a little bit tricky. This is going to be, I didn't get a function to work with the macro, but, uh, with the interpolate, but you can, this is really exciting, get a function. Now, what we're going to do, I'll just show you the end of it. We'll sh select this, and we're going to make, a, of course, a shortcut for the function. And we'll press interpolate, and we'll run. And I've got a couple of uh, little tests here, but okay, it works. Now, here's the key. The key to the function. I'll put keys to the macro. To interpolate. Don't you think that was cool? I think that was so cool. I didn't know I could do that. So number one, one, use the, this is the, this is the real innovation. Use cells dot select. So we can just kick, we can just get a selection. Two, we're going to uh, redefine as an array. Three, we better use, uh, I think, option base one. I'm not even sure we really have to do that. And uh, uh, and then four, we have to use the power function. And the power function is, if, if I want uh, four raised to the run half power, I could put equal power O W, and I can put four four comma point five. I hope that's two. Okay. Uh, and then we five write out uh, out the cell the the selection dot cells. And I see I, I haven't done this enough, so it's really selection dot cells. Now I'm going to do something challenging for me, not for you. I'm going to uh, instead of uh, doing this, just copying the old function. Okay, I'm going to uh, uh, start over. Okay, and let's call this. Okay, and let's put in interpolate. Let's put a macro enabled workbook. I am so excited about this. I can hardly stand it. Now, let's make a new macro. You know, what you can do, if I, for some reason, somebody I'm sure knows why this occurs, but if I reopen this, and make a, uh, I'm going to make a new macro, okay, and let's call this interpolate V for video, that's what the V means, okay, and then let's stop recording. Now, if I go to the macros, uh, it's blank. So I'm not cheating. I'm trying not to cheat. I bet you anything I'm going to have to cheat. Now, the very first thing is, here's the big thing. You get selection dot cells. And then we can put row, comma, comma, column. And I think that's, whoops, and then we put, can put uh, test equal how about how, how about this this is a big one so let's go uh and and you know i suppose we want to make this really flexible oh fuck we can just do it in rows or columns uh, i'm not gonna worry about fine we're gonna just gonna do it in rows now I, we can figure out how to uh well well why don't we put uh, num equal uh, uh, num equal selection dot rows 
num row and num column equals selection dot call. No, I bet it's columns. Is that right? And let's put msg box number and we better put a call we should have of course put that for the row and num call okay and then okay so let's put four here we can do this for i for row equal one to num row and for a column equal one to num call then we can put the test and let's multiply this test by two so let's say then we can say uh, test equals selection rows times two and then we can do the backwards we can do it the other way and put selection okay i know you expected a column I, uh, you shithead i know that okay and then let's of course this should be uh, indented that's just purely style uh, uh, next call uh, next oops next row okay so uh, let's just go around this is really the key to the whole thing is getting once you understand that you can do this so one two three two four five or something so if we select this and then go to our macro and let's go to macro v and then let's run it and of course it didn't fucking work uh, uh, it didn't like this one. Oh, oh, it got past those hold it hold it hold it hold it hold it num row no just a minute i'm gonna pause Okay, let's try this. I, I, shit. You know, I'm, I'm not wasting time right now. I've got to go catch a flight, and, and, uh, and uh, I started making this shit video. And I was all enthusiastic about it, not. Uh, so I'm just gonna assume we have one row. We can put interpolate for row, interpolate for column. In fact, let's put interpolate row. Okay. Uh, no, uh, we, we, uh, to do this, I just counted. I'm assuming we have one row. So this is really interpolate the column, isn't it? Shit. And then, uh, um, we're going to go, our number, our count is just going to be the number of columns this time. And we're going to just define a row as one. Okay. And then we're going to go through the row. Row is always equal to one, but column is different. And we're going to go around the number of columns. And we're just going to see if we can print it in and out. Okay. So let's uh, go up here and then just go to interpolate column and put run three. And we've just multiplied it by two. Not bad, actually. Maybe you want to do that sometime. God knows. Okay, you could do that with some kind of... If you have to convert some kind of currency, maybe that's the best way to do it. I don't know. I never realized you could do that. I'm almost tempted to just uh, uh, save that, but I'm not going to. Okay, now, uh, uh, let's say we have 100, and it goes to 120. And we want to see what's the right in between 100 and 120, such that if you take one, it's not going to be 
it's not going to be 110 because it's going to be kind of a compound thing you know it's going to be 1.09 or something we're going to use the growth rate to interpolate we could also interpolate with a, a simple average but let's just for now interpolate with a growth rate okay so to do that if we did it by hand remember what we would do is take this divided by this that gives you 1.2 and we raise that to the power of 1 divided by 2 and then we multiply that whole thing by the 100 okay that's what we're looking for all right now what we're going to do is select this these two and let's try that so I kind of like this adjust let's just call this adjust adjust uh, selection okay now okay Okay, now, now we're going to call this interpolate. Okay, and uh, once we have the interpolate column, we do the same thing. I don't need this anymore. Okay, but this time it's going to be a little bit tricky because we need to first get the the power function. We say, we need to first say, well, we're only going to interpolate if let's uh, uh, let's do uh, one thing first. Okay, there it's kind of a two-step process. Let's make some something called series. Call equal selection cells selection dot cells row comma call okay and we need then to we better make a dimension of series and don't be afraid make it a whole bunch you know if you you might make it even more I don't think it really costs you anything when I was your age and young that was our big issue to get enough fucking space from these pc twos or something with our floppy disks and i you know when i was young i used to be able to put the floppy disks in and out real fast oh, that sounded better now uh let's go from now we're gonna redo our loop but this time we'll say if column is greater than one and column is less than num column we'll only do it then and we better make absolutely sure that series uh, one is greater than zero we're gonna have to divide by that one then i think that's all we need do I need anything else? And then let's put a uh, growth rate. Uh, this is a little bit transparent, kind of like our normal transparent. And we put worksheet function dot uh, 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 power. now a, a worksheet function and the first thing we do is we put uh, the beginning we put the end uh, num column did I put forget to put call somewhere I probably did and we divide that by series uh one okay and then we raise that to one divided by num minus 
one. Okay. And then our series that we're going to do is uh, for this special little in between stuff is growth times series I minus call. Did I put uh, minus one? Okay, and this 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 should not have been there. Call, call, call. One growth, growth series. One. Okay. And if it works, which it won't, because I'm sure I did something wrong, uh, then we'll be done. No, we won't. Okay. Now what we go to macros and we go to interpret like column and we press run and we just forgot the we <laughs> we i forgot the next column and we do that and of course i did it twice Okay, and uh, okay, and let's do this one. I cannot execute in break mode. Why not? Just try to press the F5 key or press the run, right? I thought that's what I did. Good news is it finally ran. Bad news is it didn't give me an answer. Try one more time here. Huh? Okay, and uh, let's run this. And let's turn the video off and find out what stupid mistake I made. Okay, you finally got it. You know, this was so stupid what I did. So stupid, I forgot to put the num call. I put a column instead of num column. So I put a factor is the series. The end series divided by beginning index number is one divided by num column. I kept on putting num column. The growth rate is the power. Series is the last series plus one. And I have to go get my stupid plane. So if we would put this, whoops, oh, I could, I don't know how much we, we, we would put it like this. And then we could go to macro. Now, of course, we're not going to do this. We're going to assign the macro to a... Uh, Okay, and then we get our interpolate. Is that fucking cool? God, sorry. Uh, uh, um, now, we can... Let's get the growth rate to make sure I, it's always the same. Okay. So we have the same growth rate. Okay, now... Uh, so, uh, the, the, le the next thing, we can just go to a macro. We can do a couple of things. If I wanted to uh, uh, put this as shift I, I would just press like this and then we could uh, now we could do the same thing and just press shift control I. Um, <laughs> oh shit, I have another shift control I. Uh, why, you know, let, let, let's fix this for once and for all. Let's go to the generic macros. Hopefully I have that open. Yes. And go to the developer, macros rather, and go to auto open. And when we want to redefine something, it's better to uh, on key. So do I have an on I? I don't have an on I here, but we, I'm going to put this in generic macros. So... Uh, uh, we're, we're, we're gonna, uh, where's my interpolate to interpolate? Let's, uh, press edit. Oh, come on. Macros. Now it doesn't get me that stupid thing. Okay. Now 
let's put auto opens okay and then we uh, and then we put and then we'll define that to be interpolate call Okay, and let's just uh, try this. Hopefully I can get, I can just run this one. Okay, and now shift control I and shift control I works. So we have to define it, redefine it in the auto open. And I'm putting it, I think this is really worth putting in the, uh, in the uh, in the generic macros, don't you? Okay. So we copy this, and we go to the uh, hmm. Let's say Windows generic macros. I hope. Uh, oh look, I've got a version one. I better uh, put this here, and then we have this auto close and. Basic save ship. Oh, this fill to the right, my favorite macro of all time. I'm going to leave this. I couldn't get the undo fill to the right quite yet. Okay, and uh, uh, why don't we just do it? Well, we'll go back and put it. Uh, okay. Okay, and oh, okay, and we'll put uh, interpolate column, and uh, we can even, uh, I suppose, put it. Uh, hope I can put it here. Should I put it in the you know and this should be X column because we we put all the uh, ones here uh, shift control I X Okay, so now we have it, now it's really official, and I better go to this generic macros and save it without the stupid thing. Here. Okay, so I got to put that on the uh, uh, website and all of that, okay, okay. And uh, I don't know, I was doing something else here, and I got myself completely off track for the whole day by doing that, but I think it's cool.